Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to some more Pokemon Showdown and today we're gonna start for the very first time our Sun and Moon playthrough for show Showdown every week and it's kind of chaos at the moment because they've unbanned a lot of stuff and we've got it's pretty overwhelming with all the new Ultra Beasts and the Tapus and stuff it's pretty insane but it's very fun at the same time now this is only a bit casual because I just I just want to have a bit of fun with the new Mons really so um, we got a team here with pretty much completely new Mons and then we got this one here which is just pretty much got Excadrill and um, uh, Tentacruel just as backup ones but um, Gumshoes is not that good but these are just um, two mock-up teams I made and I just want to try it out. I want to see what people have um, up their sleeve besides spamming Aegislash. Um, but nonetheless, let's just move on. Oh, I forgot to log in. That's alright. It's all good. And we shouldn't have trouble finding a team. Okay. So a lot of people have the same concept when it comes to um, Nihilago. Um, <laughs> I'm going to really have to get used to that. But he's probably going to lead with it as a suicide as mine is pretty much a suicide lead as well. <laughs> and usually my one runs Sash and I've seen a lot of Sashes as well. So if I could... Mm, I forgot to put Volt Switch on this thing. Um, but that's okay. I don't have any pivots for like um, Volt Switch or U-Turn, so that's a bit of a problem. But what I can do, it probably wants to set up Stealth Rocks, and if I can put it to sleep early on, that would be great. Um, but we got Mudsdale here, who can't exactly do anything to Executor, so I'm not sure. He probably wants to li um, send out. Celestia, so I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower. Uh, wait, can he do anything to me? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea, but I'm just gonna throw out a flames. Alright. I was kind of expecting that, and I'm really... wasn't expecting it to take so much damage, so I'm just gonna go for it again. Because he really can't do anything to me except that, but... I'm um, Citrus, did I harvest? Okay, this is a bit risky, so I think I'm going to switch out right now. Um, to be honest, nothing can... Yeah, this can take an air slash pretty damn well. Nothing. <laughs> Alright. So, I think he's going to try and hit me hard. I don't know if he has a ground type attack. Maybe he does. But I'm going to throw out some rocks. I'm probably dead. But no, he just went for the leech seed. Okay, I'm expecting him to just um, try to hit me right now. Or he's going to want to switch out to um, Mudsdale. So I'm going to Grass Knot here. No, nah, okay, no, nah, he's staying in. That C Bomb did a lot of damage. Not really, because of my defense is so bad. I kind of want to save this up for a revenge kill or something, so what he's going to do, he's going to go for another seed bomb just to take me out, but I'm afraid that's just not going to work for him. I don't really have anything to take this out, except for Tapu Coco, so I'm going to bring in the Coco. That's, um, that did a nice chunk, I guess. But what I'm going to do, he's going to want to go into Mudsdale, probably. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to calm mind up. And he decides to stay in. So he really doesn't want to, you know, catch this Thunderbolt. But he will if he stays in. Alright, that's a KO. I don't know why he stayed in. He actually decided to sack his Celestealer. That would have been much more useful later on in the game, but I'm less threatened by that thing now. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I see a lot of people forfeiting really quickly in this game. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. So let's drag out the other team. I'm just going to keep swapping over through different teams. I like... Um, what's this all about? 
Oh, they're starting to patch this stuff. Alright, I'm gonna stick with the other team then. <laughs> they're starting to balance the game now. So they're making it legal now, so they're getting rid of the whole Pokebank um, transfer stuff, because it's not actually available yet. Now, he sort of has the same idea, except he threw a um, Aegis Slash on there. Uh, these are pretty much, the, the th um, three guys on the r um, left are pretty much like the biggest threats in this tier now. So I feel like he's going to lead off with, does, I don't know if Delmise gets um, stealth rocks or not. Or he could lead with mini or if that get, uses stealth rocks, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, Executor is just a really good lead, but I feel feel like but then that um minion can set up on me and that can really spell bad so what i'm gonna do i'm going for tapu coco okay so i i'm gonna He's gonna outspeed me as soon as he shell smashes, which is a bit scary. So you, I'm pretty sure the Z mo I chucked a Z move on this because um, I feel like Life Orb isn't enough because I kind of want Tapu Koko to take a little, little bit of hits. Um, actually, I'm gonna taunt him. <laughs> I don't know why I, I didn't think of that before, but Calm Mind is really good choice right here. Now this thing wants to, um, I really don't know what this thing can actually do to me, I think he wants the power whip or something, mm, I'm not too sure, I honestly I don't know what this thing does, like mine's a rapid spinner, hmm, I've, okay I'm gonna, Gleam is neutral. I'm gonna just gonna go for the gleam. Take a shot. All right. So he's just trying to go for damage. I can't switch, so that's a problem. Uh, well, I really can't do anything except hit him. So I don't know if the Z move does more damage. Um, I think it does like 175 or something. So half of that. Um, yeah, I th I think Dazzling Gleam might be a better choice. I'm just going to do it for the hell of it, though. Alright, that did actually more damage than <laughs> Dazzling Gleam. Um, that's a, pr a pretty big problem, because Tapu Koko was really helpful. Um, but, I am going to... What can he do to me? What can he do? Anchor Shot probably doesn't kill. I think, yeah, I invested one more speed into my Delmise, so I should be able to kill his. So I'm going to Anchor Shot right here. And that's a problem. So I, I really hate Aegis Slash, but what he's going to do is go for the King Shield. Um, and he can't really... What can he do to my other pokes? Who can handle him? Okay, I got Eggy here for Flamethrower, and I don't know if that kills, because Aegis Slash is really powerful. Um, I'm just going to go Eggy here. I went for the ball, and Harvest, please. Thank you very much. He is extremely threat. Okay, if I can sleep this thing, that would be amazing. He's going to King Shield, obviously. Right, shield down is pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, so he's going to set up on me, which is a really big problem. I don't... What... Um, I don't know if anything can oko this thing. So acrobatics kills everything on my team. I 
absolutely everything on my team. Now, Delmise isn't exactly the most useful against this team at all, so I'd rather sack that. Also, his minion does have, um, well, I'm just gonna, oof. Nah, I better attack him, eh? Alright, I don't think I have anything to resist the Shadow Ball, um, except this guy who can't. Yeah, probably this best choice actually. Dunno man. So he's gonna go for the um King Shield, obviously. And I can't really do anything but Earthquake. He's oh probably gonna switch out just to be safe. Is he lefties? Yeah he is, okay. This isn't gonna KO, but I honestly Buzz Buzzwall is not really useful against the rest of his team. Right, um, he will KO me with the. He could set up on me. Like, I'm just gonna go for the um superpower right now. I need to get as much damage as possible and I need to get rid of his shield so he just went for the straight acrobatics which is probably the best play since his white herb is gone I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know if he's set up. No he hasn't done it yet. Just kind of good unless he's not even running the white herb set which means I can probably counter him with my own minion. Now, um, I'm just gonna smash up here. He, yeah, this is not good. I think I lost this pretty much. Anchor shot. Acrobatics probably won't kill, but he's probably just gonna switch into Aegis Slash again. Nah. Okay, I lost this one. I might as well just fall for right now. But let's get up another match. Yeah, Age of Slash is pretty annoying. It's probably going to get banned next week, which would be great because I don't want to see that thing ever again. So now, this guy is fun to verse. This guy's got a fun team. Um, especially with Oricorio. Um, <laughs> I don't know what his intention is there, but unfortunately, Oricorio isn't that great. Um, but, um, seems like he's got a pretty good balance of physical and special attackers. So he's probably gonna lead... Uh, Mimikyu, maybe? Uh, but I'm just gonna go, um, Nihilego. Alright, so this thing is a bit threatening because it's a physical attacker. It is fast as hell. I'm gonna get my rocks up. It's probably gonna substitute or something. Just a mega setup on. Nah, I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Um. To be honest, I'm just gonna go for damage. Sludge wave. Nothing can come in and resist sludge wave. There we go. He does outspeed me, I... A special attacker, I honestly don't think he can KO me, but... I got my rocks up. And he's... Pretty much I've done... The Hilego has done his job, so... I think a sludge wave is just... A good choice. Extra sensory, I'm really confused why he has extra sensory. And I got my beast boost up, so I outspeed his whole team, and I have beast boost in special attack, which is amazing. It's funny, I got timid nature, and he still has high special attack. Um, I actually thought it would have been a better... Right. Now, this thing will quite easily um, take 
a move and it's now I don't know if it gains weight when it's in that form but he's gonna want to KO me but I'd rather get damage on him so I'm gonna go for or it might be no it's worth keeping the Halego because he's faster than his whole team and I can get a revenge kill quite easily so what I want to do is go for who do I want to go to he's got ice beam and that really threatens him so Tapu Koko is the best choice Alright, he thinks he's going to survive a hit, but little does he know, I have a Z move, and what a better time to use it than on this thing. And it'll hit absolutely everything super hard, except his Mimikyu. He will not switch into his Mimikyu, I doubt. He'll probably go into, um, Thingo, but Gigavolt Havoc. He thinks he's probably going to survive a hit, though. Dead. Uh, it's really nice. It, it's satisfying when you get a KO with the Z move. Okay, and that thing... Did it lose its disguise? No. So Stealth Rocks doesn't affect its disguise, um, which is actually kind of good because that makes it a better Pokemon because that kind of ruins it if it's weak to Stealth Rocks like that. I Now, this thing could be Scarfed. I could be super, like, stunned by that, but I am taunting up right now. Okay, it went for the swords dance, he tried to set up on me. And what I'm gonna do, he's not scarfed at all, so... I don't even know if scarfed would be a good option for this thing. But nothing can come into a... Uh, thunderbolt, really. Except for the, um... Didn't, didn't kill, okay. So he will go for the shadow sneak. And if I go into Buzzwall, his fairy attack won't actually kill me, so he will go. He can't go for the Swords Dance because his whole gimmick is at risk. To be honest, I, well, I don't even know why I switched into this thing because it's not really a counter. But Earthquake should just do. Okay. Um, I guess Tapu Koko is just <laughs> too good, I guess. Um, Alright, so he's got Feromosa, so he's got the speed, he's got Tapu Koko. He's got a very speedy team. But I believe he's going to lead off with Celesteela. I have no idea if that thing learns Stealth Rocks. Um, that If it does, that thing would be way too versatile. Even more versatile than um, Skarmory. But... I don't know what a good option to start off would be. Um, I don't know if anything can KO my Executor. I honestly don't know what he would, he's going to lead off with. If it's Celesteela. Tapicoco is just a really good lead. Okay. kind of wish I had a ground type. It's pretty standard to have a ground type on your team. I should have thought about that, but I just threw a bunch of Pokemon together. But Executor really just resists his hits. I know I'm threatened by the Dazzling Gleam, which might be a good time to switch into Nihiligo. And I, uh, he probably can't KO because this thing is really specially tanky, and I kind of like it. So, um, I'm pretty sure Celesteela learns Rapid Spin, and also Feromosa learns Rapid Spin. So he's expecting the Poison move right now. So Stealth Rocks is coming out. Delnize cannot do anything to this guy. Executor is a really good counter to Celesteela. 
it cannot KO me with um, um, Air Slash because I burst a special attacking one before and if I can manage to Sleep Powder sleeps everything on his team so that's just a safe option heal up again I flinched and that is literally the worst literally the worst thing that could happen right there and I think oof. I don't know what oh. yeah this is a problem eh air slash is gonna hit me really hard I gotta go to Tapu Koko. Alright, so what he's gonna do... Now, um, I thought I had Grass Knot on, on this thing, so... To be honest... I think it might just be worth going for a Calm Mind. Alright, so he pretty much has no choice but to switch into Mudsdale. Okay, that's dead. I know that definitely kills because Electric Terrain plus a Calm Mind is pretty damn powerful. And he has no idea that I have the Z move. Um, what can he do? So, this thing is going to kill me. This thing is definitely gonna kill me. I don't think it has setup. It doesn't really need to set up because it's already um, really damn powerful. <sighs> He's probably gonna go for the high jump kick. Which might be the. Oof, that, <laughs> that actually KOs everything. Um, Buzz Hole is. I think he's just a good counter in general. That is a. A frozen Buzz Hole. I am <laughs> I'm really upset about that but he really can't do anything except ice beam and he's probably gonna go for the ice beam um, but earthquake should take him out come on Thor yes okay that thing is dead and it's alive that's not good um, now power up punch a eh? mmm so neutral the earthquake. Let me look at this 16%. I need to look at this up. <clears throat> uh, I don't have a damage calculator for Sun and Moon. Actually, I actually don't care at all. It's really not a big deal. I, it's not worth powering up punch because if I kill, I still get an attack boost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leech life doesn't kill and I'm gonna get that tiny tiny bit of health back but he will revenge kill me with something um, I'm anything actually just kills me in one hit especially that which he's prob he's probably gonna try and fake me out with a uh, what's it nasty plot or he's just gonna go for the KO so if he goes for the nasty plot, he cannot touch my minion. And I still have my shields active, which is great. So that's perfect. So a fire blast from him doesn't do enough to break my shields. And that gives me a chance to sell who has priority. That Greninja has um, Water Shuriken, which will really screw my day up. But honestly, I don't even know if it KOs me. I'm pretty sure Earthquake is just a really good choice right here. Just to get rid of it. Alright, that's really good. I don't care, I'm just going to go for damage. Um, I that was a much better choice than setting up and getting um okay that was a really silly choice by him to choose Mudsdale because he just could have easily revenged me with Greninja 
I don't know what he's trying to do here. Why? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to um, fake me out with the whole... I'm just going for the earthquake. Return? Why has he got return? That's weird. Isn't heavy slam a better option? Um, but that's fine because... Who KOs this Mudsdale? Sludge Wave, Grass Knot. Yeah, and Halego, I think, just counters his team completely. Um, I could just go for the safe Grass Knot here. It doesn't KO, which is a big problem because I'm dead. Honestly, I thought that would have KO'd. But Mudsdale um, proves to be a lot more tanky than I thought. Now I could. No, I need. I better save Buzz Hole up for a um, a sack. And I'm really slow, but I think Mudsdale is actually slower. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure about that. But I'm going for Eggy. And a safe play right now would be to go for. Uh, I can't. I don't know actually. Um, I would say Leaf Storm. Dragon won't work on that thing. I'm just going for the flame. Uh, oh, sleep. I'm gonna use a. Uh, Dragon Hammer. It'll hit everything except the Tapu Koko. And the only thing that can counter me is his Greninja, which will KO me, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't look like he has Ice Beam on his Greninja, and what he's going to do is go for the um, Dazzling Gleam, which will definitely KO me, and the best choice to go with here is Delmise, I'm pretty sure. Just get the Earthquake off. Unless he's going to set up on me. Okay, so... I could go for the Power Whip. If he wants to really go into Greninja, which would be kind of pointless because Earthquake is just going to hit anything. I survive. Which is really nice. That KOs. Delmise has got really nice defense, so that helps out because um, he's a special attacking Tapu Koko. This Greninja just. He's going to try and get the Battle Bond um, going, which is a bit of a problem because he actually. I think. Hopefully, Tapu Koko can live this. Alright, so he's he's not battle bond, he's um what can you do? What can you walk you what can you do? I think he sweeps my team now. What's a good choice right here? Buzz hole, I guess. Uh, superpower just kills. Um I got really bad special defense for Buzz Buzzwall, so I think it's over, but that was... He's gone water type. Eggy is the only option I got. So, Leaf Storm just kills. I'm dead. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. That was kind of close, but... Um, he really did save up his Greninja to sweep the rest of my team. Then again, Protein Greninja is still really good, so I don't know what else I'm expecting. So let's get out of here. That was a fun fight, though. Um, I'll get a couple more matches in. Okay, so this guy is having a bit of fun. He's not just using um, aid to slash and stuff. Yeah, I wonder if that's Battle Bond. Like, you really can't tell if something is going to be Battle Bond or not. Um, I think Battle Bond Greninja is a male, so. That looks like it's 
protein unless um, Showdown just really doesn't bother with that too much. But he's gonna um, want to start with... Honestly, he doesn't really have a Stealth Rocker. Um, okay, he's got Speedy Mons, he's got Greninja, he's got Tapu Koko. Everything else seems to be pretty slow. Tapu Koko can't do anything to Nihilego. And I don't think Greninja can do anything either. So I think that's the best choice to go with. Okay, this thing. I'm not a fan. Okay. He's gonna go for the fairy move and nothing resists fairy. Fairy is just the best typing in the game. Um, I feel like I need to keep this thing for the Decidueye and, uh, what else? Well, nothing really else, but, maybe, oh yeah, I need it for Tapu Koko. This thing is a really important for Tapu Koko. So what I want to do is, I would like to, Jesus Christ, I really have nothing for fairy types. I should have thought about that. Fairy types, <laughs> number one priority, think about your fairy types. Um, he's gonna go for that floor. Oh, I don't know actually. Does he have a spinner? Toxapex. Man, I don't know. Um, unless he has a ground move. I'm just gonna have to go into this. Like, ah, uh, that does so much. That's specs, man. That is totally specs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Wait, what is that ability? So if something dies, he just gets a special attack boost? Okay. That's a problem. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I've, um... Honestly... I know he specs, because you've got to look at that. Electric terrain, okay. So what can come into a flamethrower? Nothing can really. But I'm going for the sleep powder. What is this thing? This thing needs to be banned right now. Are you kidding me? Why is this acceptable? I, what can I do to it? I just got a power gem. <laughs> Holy crap, that KOs my whole team. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Oh, well, it is getting the attack boost, so... If you want to count that. I don't outspeed this thing at all. Who knows? If I... Okay. That was not cool. <laughs> okay, choice... Okay, these guys with choice specs and bands and stuff, man. That shit is way too powerful. He's got the Pukumuku, which is amazing. I love... Okay, um... Hmm... I know Necrozma has access to Stealth Rock, so I believe he's going to lead off with that. And it's resistant to... <coughs> shit, okay. What can it do to Delmise? I don't think it can do anything, to be honest. So, what I'm going to do is... I really believe he's going to leave with Necrozma, so... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be actually good in this game. I, I have not come across it yet. Tapu Lele is a, a huge threat, especially if it has specs. Just, <laughs> oh god, it's going to want to hit me really hard, isn't it? Um, maybe a dark type would be good to counter this thing, but then it has access to Dazzling Gleam if it's not specs. Um, does it die to an anchor shot? But I die to a no. I don't. Th I think I live a Psy shot because I'm. He's pretty bulky, and this guy. 
true. Who can survive an anchor shot? It doesn't matter because I'm going to fire one off. <clears throat> Alright, this thing. Uh, what does this thing do? What does this thing do? Uh, night slash, maybe? I think that's what it learns. Um, hmm. <laughs> this thing is kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. If it's banded, that's kind of insane. Um, night slash, night slash, night slash. Tapu Koko is a really good um, switch into this thing. Psycho Cut? I don't... I honestly don't think it's worth putting Psycho Cut on this thing. <clears throat> okay, nothing resists um, Thunder in this um, team, so he honestly can't switch into anything. And if something does, it's going to get hit with my Z move. So I'm going for Thunderbolt right now. Unless this thing is um, Scarfed, but even if it's Scarfed... <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to fire off another Thunderbolt. <laughs> Not the Puka Muku! <laughs> I love that thing. That's actually my favourite mod of this generation. I'm not going to lie. Now, I believe this thing is actually Scarfed because he decided to switch it in afterwards. <laughs> um, oof. He's going to use the Steel move. That will definitely KO. So I think a really good choice to go with is... Um, oof, I, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> He's a grass type, so I can't put it to sleep. Um, power jam, grass knot. He really hits my team hard. I'm not sure. I think I gotta go with. I'm gonna go Eggy. Okay, I survive a hit, which is great. So I can get a free flamethrower off on anything in his team. Not if he decides to stay in, he's gonna take a sleep powder, but he really doesn't want to get flamethrowered. And if he stays in, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going for the sleep powder and something is falling to sleep. What's this in the chat? Okay. Please, 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 please hit. I... It... Huh? How did he resist that? Wait, 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 wait. Sleep powder. Oh, electric terrain was still up. Okay. I've... Yeah, fucking electric terrain, man. <sighs> uh, this thing outspeeds me. And it definitely will KO. I think. It's, um, does steel resist... Uh, gr does grass resist steel? I'm pretty sure. Because if that thing can't KO me, this thing can't. Ooh, I don't know. Eggy's pretty bulky. I'm not gonna lie. But it's... Oof. He's going for the... Um, he is going for it. And I've got nothing to switch into. Except for this. I, he definitely predicted that. Alright, have I changed form yet? I can't even tell. No. How do you know if you changed form? Fire type, so he's not going to want to take a stone edge. Neither of us Pokemon want to take a stone edge. Okay. This thing's going to flash cannon right now. That'll give me a chance to get um, a citrus berry off on, on the executor. Unless this thing is specs and will definitely sweep my team. <laughs> like the last game, which was hilarious. Shift gear. Who's going to sleep? Okay. Uh, is, is he a physical attacker? Or is he just trying to get his speed up? 
shit. Um. Oh god. Alright, he doesn't have flash cannon, which is kind of crazy. Um, I feel like flash cannon would have been a better choice right there. <clears throat> uh, but he's got negative. Oof, he's got negative, man. Uh, t to be honest, I think he just kills Minio regardless. Um, whoa, whoa. Again, nothing can really handle Tapu Koko. This thing cannot take um, a Thunderbolt. Let's be honest. Okay, but this thing... Uh, oof, I forgot about its bloody speed boost. That's a problem. I didn't think about that. Um, oof, <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go to just Delmise. I don't care if this thing dies, really. It's not too helpful. <clears throat> okay. If you guys to tap the Lele, I'm pretty screwed, but I'm going to Mini All right now. Alright. What is this? I honestly don't know what this thing has, man. What? Who's gonna. Earthquake, 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 earthquake. I'm going for the earthquake. That's actually really good damage if it's not even shell smashed in changed form. I don't actually care because Tapu Koko is right here. Tell me who wants to take a Thunderbolt right now. And imagine if this thing was actually scarfed. Nah, definitely not. And this thing is not <laughs> taking a hit. That's crazy. That thing is so frail, especially. It's so funny. Okay, he's got the tap of Lele. Could this thing be scarfed? I honestly don't know, but he's confident he cannot. He, he's confident he can take a thunder attack, but what he doesn't know is I got the Z move. That is specially defensive. Holy moly! That actually did nothing. <clears throat> okay. Nahalego is just a really good <coughs> choice to counter him. Um, he can easily KO me with a Psy Shock, but the question is, can he survive a Sludge Wave? Nope. And I got my attack boost. None of his team outspeeds this guy. Um, but that, this thing just completely counters him. Can he KO me with the, um, or oh, this, no, 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 I, don't, I really can't be risking this, man. Okay, so he's going to go for the oh, flash cannon, probably. And he will kill Delmise if I send that thing out. <clears throat> I think I just got to go for damage right now. Oh, you lived. Oh, I kill, I kill, I kill. That's amazing. That thing is life orb. Now, if he doesn't send, he has to send Necrozma in. What? I'm sashed, yeah. I'm at plus two, and that is really scary for him. Now, he has to take a sludge wave. Okay. Autotomize. Oh, I disconnected, man. Please reconnect. Please, 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 please. What is going on? I don't know if that was Showdown or me, to be honest. 
but I won that battle, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna have one more match. That was really unfortunate, because I was getting really hyped up there. <laughs> he went for the autonomize and everything, but... Um, who, who knows who could have won that? I'm not pretty sure, because he probably could have um, swept me. I had Buzzwall and Delmice. Yeah, he probably won. Actually, I'm going to take the L for that one. <clears throat> what has he got here? Um, that thing doesn't have access to Sticky Web, which is stupid in my opinion. He doesn't have a Stealth Rocker, unless um, Magirna learns it. <clears throat> um, he probably is going to lead off with something that counts as N Nihilego. Which would be um, the Katana. But the Katana cannot handle Tapu Koko, who is always a really good lead in general. <coughs> now, if this thing is Specs, it actually KOs me. Now, a good way to see that is <coughs> Delmise. If this thing does over half my health, it Specs. Regardless, okay, it doesn't look like he specs because he would have actually fired off a fluor cannon right there Or a um, what's it called flash cannon <clears throat> So I've got um electric terrain up Yeah, that doesn't really affect me so Who's he gonna send in? He's gonna want to send in Roxish maybe no, why would he? He's probably coming back to Magirna. Power Whip will do damage, but then he'll get his boost up. I'm going to say Eggy is a really good choice right now. Okay, so his Kartana can absorb a Sleep Powder, but the question is, will he send it in? Regardless, if he doesn't send in Kartana, something's put, getting put to sleep, as long as I hit. Um, has Eggy's tail always looked like that? I never, <laughs> I've never actually used him in-game. But anyway, um, I beat the game pretty much today, and overall, I think the game is great. Just really good. I think a little too- okay, I missed. That is absolutely terrible. <laughs> He's going for the floor cannon. I got nothing to um, tank that. Um, actually, I do because Nihilego is right there. But he can't do anything to that either. Um, so, what I want to do is go to Delmise. <laughs> okay, um, that does 80. Okay. Is that specs? That is. Oof. I don't know, because me, <laughs> I don't know if it's specs or not. I really can't tell. It probably is, because that thing is just really, like, powerful. <clears throat> um, what can my Delmise do? Okay. Um, do I need this thing at all? I'm going for the Earthquake. Alright, he just went for damage. Alright, so if he's going for the Dazzling Gleam... <clears throat> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, nothing's gonna want to come in onto a um, Thunderbolt. But a Z move, I don't even think KO is, but I'm going for the Z move. Yep, there it is. There's my Z move wasted, which is a really big disappointment. And, okay, he's just going for the straight earthquake, and then he will switch back into <coughs> Magirna. So 
So I'm just going for the straight flamethrower right now. Which will probably KO Maguna. Because he's at half health. Alright. Okay, thank god that killed him. <laughs> I was really concerned for a second. <clears throat> so Eggy got a kill, finally. I was kind of disappointed in his performance before, because he really couldn't do anything. <clears throat> this thing has Ice Fang. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't feel good. Um, it probably dies to Nehalego. Um, probably a really good choice would be to go for Buzzwall, and then Leech Life would probably kill. <clears throat> so who wants to come in for a Leech Life? He's probably- oh, <clears throat> oh my throat is like really screwing up. <clears throat> this is my last battle. But I got rid of the big threat, who is a Magirna. He just um, wants to take his time a bit. <clears throat> so who can he go into? I'm really, um... I'm seeing the Salander that's going to come in. That's pretty much his best option. But he just went for the Mudsdale. But what can this Mudsdale do to my Minion? <clears throat> well, he has um, access to uh, Rock Slide, doesn't he? That will not KO, because Minion is very tanky. But then again, I can't KO Mudsdale. But it's alright, I resisted the hit. He's going for a Rock move. Hit Eggy, and then I'll go into Citrus Berry and then get more health back. And then I can fire off pretty much any attack I want. Flamethrower is fairly good option. His spider and his Broxus and his Salandit resists it. Um, so he's probably going to counter with Salandit. And I don't know if I have anything for Salandit, <coughs> but I can hit it hard with something. Um, I kind of hope he just hurries up right now. Um, also his Roxish. Alright, nice, nice prediction right there, okay. <laughs> He's going for, um, for probably for the Ice Fang, which <coughs> will not KO Tapu Koko. But then he has, um, he could have um, Aqua Jet to finish me off. <coughs> so what can he do? What can he do? What can he do? What can he do? Buzzwall is just a really good switch in. If he gets the freeze, then that's just like... Yeah. There's really nothing I could do there. Um, if he goes for it again... That kills. I I thought it resisted for a second. I was j I just had a mind blank. <clears throat> uh, I really don't know. Minion. I'm smashing up right now. Hopefully, Aqua Jet doesn't kill at my at half health. But he's probably going to switch into Kartana and finish me off. He loves his muds down. <laughs> now flying is neutral, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Acrobatics is just a really good choice right now. I'm at plus two attack. He will get his defense boost. But the question... Oh, I'm probably dead. Iron Defense? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Yeah, I better not EQ right here.
Right. <laughs> I don't know if his team outspeeds. His his Solander definitely outspeeds me. Um, along with his. Oh, what is this thing? Is this thing scarfed? I'm actually fairly confident this thing is scarfed. And, and he's going for. What is he going for? Because he thinks. He's going for Ice Fang. Definitely. If he's scarfed, he's definitely going for Ice Fang. Um, hopefully this puts me into um, the what's it the sh smashed up shell form. All right, what can this thing do to me? I'm setting up right now. This is really good time to set up because I KO this thing. I pretty much KO everything after a shell smash. I don't care if I got lowered defense; it's killing me. What is that? Attack, man. Is that thing max attack? Okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking screwed. Um, because his Broxish is not scarfed, which is very good indeed. But his Saland does counter me completely. Um, but to be honest, that thing is really specially bulky. Um, it's just gonna go for bloody. I'm just gonna get damage off. I did a lot of damage because that thing, even though it it's um, super effective, that thing has a lot of special defense. Um, oh, what is it, what is it gonna do? Okay, what has he got to counter this Broxus? Dragon hammer, dragon hammer. Alright, something's going to sleep. Damn. <laughs> That's it. Alright, I'm I'm ending the video. That was unfortunate. Okay, so I got a lot of losses today, but that's alright, because I just wanted to see what people's strats and stuff are. Honestly, I don't know what these Pokemon carry a lot. I'm interested to see what they do and their potential in the future. And um, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep playing this game. Tapu Koko is really good. So is um, Nihilego. The rest um, kind of underperformed. Um, but as well as probably staying in OU. So is Tapu Koko and Nihilego. Probably Minior is going to be somewhat useful. Although he wasn't really helpful. He's probably going to go down a tier. But that's pretty much it. So if you want to... Um, Stay tuned for more Pokemon content, don't forget to subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments below about the new Pokemon, what you like about them, and I'll catch you later.